I wonder if you've ever said that to yourself. I wonder if you've ever, ever, ever thought about who did he actually come for? The characters in the nativity scene, of course, we know the, the, you know, the, the main one, that's Mary, right? We have Mary who came, who was there, chosen by God to have this son, to bear this child. I wonder if you've ever thought about her and what it was like for her. Scholars will tell us that she was probably about 16 years old. And they'll also tell us that uh, as a young, single, pregnant girl, what would the reaction have been? What it, would it have been like in her village where she lived? Would tongues have been wagging? Would people have been talking? You bet they were. And you bet they did. And then when she came out with this incredible story that she was going to bear the Messiah, and people would have said, yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe that's what you think too. But I wonder if you've ever been the person on the outer, and I wonder if you've ever been the person that other people talk about behind your back. Then there's Joseph, and Joseph was a tradie. We know all about them, where we live, don't we? He was a carpenter, he was a knockabout guy, and he had a choice to make. His fiance is pregnant, and he knows it's not his. What's he going to do? Interesting, as those tongues are wagging, as those people are looking at him and looking at his fiancée, what's he going to do? He does the right thing. He says, look, I don't know about this, I don't know how it all happened, but I'm going to take you in, I'm going to be your husband, you're going to be my wife, I'm going to look after her. And that was really important because in those days, if you were an unmarried young girl and you had a baby... You were cast out and there was really no one to look after you. But Joseph was going to take her in. He was a decent guy. He was a good guy. And some of you here tonight, you'd would, you would say to me, you know what, I'm a good person. I'm a, I'm a good person. And, and maybe you are. But Jesus came for Joseph. And then we have the Magi, all the three wise men, the three kings, or whatever, all different names you, you want to call them. Were there three? We don't know if there was three, but there were three incredibly expensive gifts. These guys, these are the most interesting people, I reckon, of the lot. They didn't even come from Israel. They came from Babylon or Persia or somewhere east of there. They didn't even follow the same God. They had a different God. They were astrologers and maybe they were astronomers. We don't really know. But we know that they had followed the star to come and to say hello to Jesus and to meet Jesus. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we came back buzzing because we got to do something locally. And I'm excited also that as a group of people we can do something internationally. So I've got my cards now. What did you get? I got some clean water. So that's in Bangladesh. By buying that for Mark, honey, happy Christmas. Um, <laughs> we provide a family with clean water in Bangladesh. And he got me a little piggy. I'm not sure if that's appropriate. <laughs> wow. this, this is a cute one. But there's a family in Nepal who will be given piglets to the, and then training in how to, have, to raise piglets uh, for the livelihood of their family. So that feels like a good Christmas to me. Oh, mate, no, seriously. You've given someone water and you've yep. given someone... A livelihood. A livelihood. Mm. And what... It's, yeah, it's very what, cool. What, what does it cost you? I'm not going to say. No. But, um, <laughs> but it hasn't cost you what it's worth to them. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a, it's a privilege. So as I, I told you to go that way, I got that wrong. On your way out tonight, Tammy's over there. Give us a wave, Tammy, near the parents' room sign. And uh, you can stop in there and grab a card... But also what we've done is we're having a sausage sizzle very soon. That's just two bucks for a sausage in a piece of bread or a bun. I'm it's not a bun. sure. A bun. I think there's onion. There is onion. Oh, my gosh. And sauce. Gosh. We're Australians after all. Well, there you go, Australians. <laughs> we've got our sausage sizzle. So if you want one of those, there's no free lunch. Um, you just drop $2 at Baptist World Aid on your way past and they'll give you a little coupon. You take it out there and you can grab your sausage sizzle and every bit of that yes. money... Yes, exactly right. Go ahead. All that money is going towards, all the proceeds from that are going to Baptist World Aid. Yeah. So when you buy a sausage, you're helping as well. So thank Isn't that you. great? I hope it's not a pork sausage. I'll feel very awkward. It's beef. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> you know what? We're almost done. And uh, at the end of tonight, we don't want you to rush off. It's only 
6.18. No wow. one's got to go home. No one. So head out that way. It's a beautiful night. We're going to have a sausage sizzle. There's some things for the kids. There's a castle in here that is going to be inside for the children. And uh, just enjoy yourself. Get to know a few people. And I wouldn't be a good pastor if I didn't say to you, if you're looking for a church to be in at Christmas Day, 9 a.m., yep. and I guarantee we'll be finished by 10 because yep. I've got a lunch to prepare. So <laughs> 9 o'clock on Christmas Day, come back, sing some more carols. It's going to be fantastic. Well, this last one you're going to love. I was here for a rehearsal, and it's a corker. So in fact, enjoy I think it. we should get him to stand up. Come on, stand Let's up. Let's all stand up for you this one. You can actually jiggle and move, but enjoy. Go tell it on the mountain.